11.2c, multiply and divide rational expressions, multiply and divide rational expressions. To divide, recall that we multiply by the reciprocal. And then to multiply, we factor common factors, then multiply what's left over. This means we must first factor. So in our first example here, we are dividing by this little bit here, which means we want to flip it over. We have lots of stuff to factor. So we're going to just start by writing things out in a factored form as we go and so that we don't have to write quite so much. So our first thing that we have, our x squared plus 3x minus 10, factors as x plus 5, x minus 2, all over x squared plus 6x plus 5, which will factor as x plus 5, x plus 1, times our 2x squared minus x minus 3, which will factor as 2x, Um, let's see, we want 3 here, we want that to be negative, and a positive 1 here. And then our denominator for this one will be 2x and I'd say that we're going to have minus 3 and x plus 2 times, now this is going to go on our top to 6x plus 15, we pull out the common factor there, we get 3x, or 3 times 2x, oh I'm not getting it written, let's try it again, 2x plus 5, and then our denominator will be the one on top, and it has a common factor of 4, which will leave us with 2x plus 5. Now we want to take out all the common factors between top and bottom. We have x plus 5, x plus 5, x plus 1, and x plus 1, 2x minus 3, the 2x minus 3, and 2x plus 5, and the 2x plus 5. That will leave us with 3 times x minus 2, all over 4 times x plus 2. And we're done. Now in our second example, again notice that our last term is being divided. And again we want to factor everything first. So in our first term on the top we have a difference of squares, which is x minus 1, x plus 1, in the denominator, this will factor to x minus 3, x plus, whoops, that's supposed to be an x, x plus 2. Now don't worry if you're not um, being able to factor as fast quickly as I am. Because of time I am going through these fast, you may need to pause so that you can factor them yourself or check my work. On our second term, the numerator, we're going to have 2x and x. And let's see, we have 15, so we're going to have 3 and 5. So we'll put 3 here and 5 here, and it needs to be a negative 6. Or in other words, a negative 3 plus 5. 
for our denominator. We're going to get 3x and x, and we're going to have a negative 4 and a positive 1. Now this, for our third term, we're going to make this a multiplication. We're going to put the de denominator on top now, and we'll factor that. So we have 3x and x, and let's see, I'm thinking 4 and 2, and it needs to be a positive 6 and a negative 4, or positive 2, sorry. And for our denominator, we're going to be using the top one. So we'll have 2x, and we need 5 and 3. So let's see, so we need 5. We need to get a 3 for our middle term. So that means I want to put my 5 here, and that's positive, and a negative 1 here. Okay, so now we're looking for common factors between our numerator and our denominator. We have x minus 1, x plus 1, 2x plus 5, x minus 3, 3x minus 4, and x plus 2. When everything simplifies out and you have nothing left, everything was common factors between the top and bottom, that means that your answer equals one.